Hey Sean here for Tackle Tactics. So this afternoon we've got some cracking weather, a bit overcast and we've got a bit of a uh, bite going on with some bass. So we're going to throw some TT switch blades at them and I'll just give you a look. That's what the sounder looks like. So let's get into it. Hey. So switch blading for bass is pretty simple. I've just got a 3.8 TT blade. And all I'm gonna do is just get into position. Kind of gonna cast up into the school. And I'm out from the weed here, so don't really have to worry about getting hooked up on weed. It's gonna cast out. It's kind of one of the easiest ways to, to kind of prospect and, and convince a bass to eat. So, just gonna let it hit the bottom. I'm just gonna wait for that belly of the line to. I'm on the bottom there. Just give it a nice lift. Nice lift again. Lift again. And each time, I'm just making it hit the bottom. There we are. We're on. You know, it's, didn't take too long. That was like three or four lifts. Just up through the school. Probably not a monster. We are only using one to three kilo gear, so nothing too crazy this afternoon. But just, how are we going? Yeah, he's just a little tucker. God. Wanted it, but, so that's cool. So we'll just try and get that out of him without wearing the hooks. He's on his way. See if we can get a big Ben. So just gonna let that hit the bottom again. And this is, I just wanna show you this technique. It's just such an easy way to go catch some fish. Um, you know, it's even good for salt water, like switch blading, for your flatties and stuff like that. It's pretty much the same principle. Just let it hit the bottom, about six meters, and just give it a nice lift on the bottom there. Lift again. Lift again. I'm just going to keep doing that. There we are. Oh, had a rattle. Amazes me that even with two trebles in these lures, you can still get a rattle and have a miss. It's just crazy. Anyway, it does happen. I'm not sure, it doesn't feel quite, oh there we are, that was just, that was on a straight retrieve, I got my fish come up and walloped it, which was another, another retrieve I was actually going to talk about, just once you've let it hit the bottom, just nice constant mine through the school, and uh, sometimes they just come up and crunch it, like that. It's got a little 1000 ITX on a red belly, Oh, he, what has he done? He's done something. He's got it underneath. All right. Let's have a look at you. What have you got going on here? Oh, it just came out. There you go. Well, 3 switch switchblade. And he's hit it on the, um, sorry, hit it on the straight retrieve. So we'll try and get another, another one. Cool. With that, and you see there's just lots of bass this afternoon feeding, which is cool. What we might do is just let this hit the bottom and just go for that straight retrieve. And play with your retrieves a bit as well. So if you're doing your hops, do short sharp hops. Or do a long, long hop up off the bottom. Or just a nice straight Straight, there we are. On the straight retrieve again. Getting the business. How good's that? Such a cool way because they just crunch it. Okay. Not, not an absolute monster, but he's a good sort of 
40 model I'd say yeah he'd be in that that 40s range he's uh definitely crunched it which is cool just get a everyone likes a couple of quick photos so anything is obviously with troubles it's um just a bit gotta be a bit careful just getting them out Oh, he's away. Three bass in under six minutes so far. It's pretty good. And there is just more. So all I'm going to do now, I'm going to literally just do a straight drop to the bottom. I'm not even going to do a cast. Straight drop to the bottom. We're on the bottom there. Now, I know there's fish there. I can see them on the sounder. So straight wind. See how we go. Anything? Oh, send it to the bottom again. Sometimes the school's a little bit funny. They won't just like that nice vertical retrieve. Sometimes they want, you know, it kind of moving to back towards you. Just depends. Sometimes you can play with your colours. So have a nice bright colour or a nice natural looking switchblade or um, in this case it's late afternoon, pretty overcast sort of conditions so I've just gone for that red nightmare colour. Just going for a con the combo retrieve, so a bit of a pause and a bit of a constant wind. And uh, see what's going to happen. All right, got. Look like right, we're going to get the uh, the good news that time. Now, another little trick with the switchblades. That's pretty cool. Um, don't forget that you can use some pro cures. So just I'm gonna whack a little bit of crawfish. Just doesn't affect the blade at all. And just really sense that that um, blade up. So if you're getting a few hits and you're not really sure, you know, how to really get those fish to stick, sometimes just a little bit of scent on the side of the blade will get the job done for you. Nice hop and hop and retrieve. It's cool. Come on. Had a hit on the drop. There we are. Oh, God, and again. Yeah, there we are. How cool is that? I do have a little bit of hero drag on just in case we get a pretty decent one. You know, we could get that really good PB fish this afternoon, so I don't want to pull hooks. It's coming up. Here's another just reasonable one. Once again, those hooks have done their job and, and found their mark. Not a, not a huge fish, but reasonable once again, so we'll just try and get that out of here. Don't make a fuss, because I don't want to 
hook you any more than you already are, buddy. See you, bud. Try and let it get back to the bottom there again. It's always hard after you caught a couple of fish to be patient and actually let them get let it get back there, but anyway. You just don't know what's gonna happen. Right eh. Like I said earlier, like mm just quite as easily do this for chasing flathead and on edges as to chasing basses sorry as to chasing bass on the points here you know on the bottom there give it a hop let it hit the bottom hop let it hit the bottom again you're almost just dying of anticipation of it getting crunched just there like that that didn't take too long at all. It went on again. On again. So, how good's that? And where are we? It's coming up. Alright, got it there, buddy. Try and get that out of your face first. I want you to be a winner for the ladies. I'm not letting go of that treble. They are angry the server, aren't you? Yeah, okay. See you. Okay. See you, mate. They pretty angry the Savo. So just a few things to to consider like I don't there's a few different adjustments on the holes and that that you can choose from so there's four adjustments here I'll just run it on the second from the front as a general rule that's where I like to be um, what you're really looking for is when you're retrieving it you want that vibration it's the big key to this lure is vibration and one of the reasons why it can be a super effective lure for for bass is because they can be shut down and that vibration's just just enough to get them going so every time you lift it or retrieve it or constant retrieve you need to get that lure retrieving fast enough that you've got that constant vibration so constant retrieve you want a vibration on a lift you want that vibration even when it's on the drop there's vibration because it's flapping around and just sort of being a bit erratic all the way to the bottom so it's um super important unlike your soft plastics and that that are you know you don't you get vibration through the tail and whatnot but these things are specifically built to vibrate so God, how did I miss him? Yeah, my lure's all mucked up. So I got that hit. I'll just show you my lure. It's obviously tangled from that hit. He's got a treble wrapped around or I picked up a bit of weed or something. Yeah, that rear treble's wrapped around my leader. So as soon as it doesn't feel right, just wind it back in. There's no point just wasting time when it's not swimming right. And you should, after a while, you, you'll get a f sense for what it should feel like. I'll just let it hit the bottom again. A bit of deep water there. What are we eight? Oh yeah. Take a little while to get to the bottom. I'm just opting for those nice long, long pauses. 
nice long lift, sorry, and a nice long pause rather than those short, sharp lifts. On the day, you'll figure out what. Yeah, yeah. What um, what's going to work good? It seems to be the Savo. That constant retrieve has worked, and on the drop, seemed to like hitting it on the on a drop. So while it's fluttering back to the bottom, ah, oh, did me. Bugger. What happened there? Oh. What a shame. Oh, he's had it down the hatch. That's what's happened. Okay, so I just looked in my box of tricks. Had the same colour, but in a half ounce. So ideally I would be throwing a half ounce on a one to three kilo, oh sorry, a two to four kilo rod, but I'm just gonna be a little bit careful and throw it just on the one to three that I was using, just because it's easy. But I wanna stick with that red nightmare colour, but I've only got the half ounce left now, so shouldn't make too much difference. This means it's going to be a bit quicker the descent to the bottom and that fall is going to be a bit quicker. So I will stick with that nice high lift. Get back up on the point that wind's just pushed us off a little bit. I'm gonna get up there. See if we can get one more for the Arvo before I'm going to head home. So same sort of thing. It's just a you know, it's got its four holes, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, obviously, three eighths or a half ounce. So that's just gonna be slightly heavier presentation but all the same sort of thing so you're still going to get that nice vibration you can still retrieve it exactly the same way um, there's no reason why the bass this afternoon won't go for it I hope Depends on how. Oh, there we are on the concert retrieve. Oh, hello. He uh, feels kind of all right too. Nice. He's a bit hooked, a bit funny. A bit of weight to him. A little bit of weight. Oh, jeez. A lot of weight. He's heavy. That's a heavy, uh, heavy bass. If it's a bass, what have we got. Let's have a little look. Oh no, it's a good bass. Very solid bass. Try and give you a look at him. Yeah, there you go. That is a nice bass. Very solid. And you can tell he um it wasn't his day because he got a mouthful of both trebles. Just try and do it without getting hooked up. So nice and solid that dude. Bit of a chunk. So just try and unhook you mate. Try and unhook you without you in me. So I'm gonna try and do. Okay. Get the lure out of the way first. So yeah, he's like let's have a quick little measure. Yeah, he's every bit in the 40s. Every day of the week, really heavy too. So nice bass. That was uh, that was pretty cool. Just on that constant retrieve. Um, it's pretty awesome. You can see there's just lots of fish, lots of fish here. 
I have a crack on the back here. It's hard to leave the fishing when it's good, hey? Like, famous fisherman's famous last cast. Just, this will be my last cast. Be like my last fish. Especially when you're getting fish like that. How can you, how can you not love that? That is excellent. How good. Alright. Yeah, right. Hey, that's um it's pretty solid. <laughs> it's been a crazy afternoon. What a way to finish it off. What have we got? Oh, just another, another cracking heavy water fish on a switchblade. Try and get him. Here we are. There you go. Red Nightmare, half ounce, and just another solid 40s model. Yeah, that came out pretty easy. Alright, eh? So if you're into some bass fishing, check out the TT Switchblade. Oh yeah. Alright, eh? Okay, one more cast. This will be it. Promise. Promise. Don't know. Might not be it. Who knows? Just get it. Oh, I just had a hit on the drop. Constant retrieve, yes, on the constant retrieve, we got one. Oh, yeah, Concentrate tree, getting it done. Get that out of there, mate. Cool. See you, mate. Okay. Like I said, you got a lot of you got a lot of uh, trebles there, a lot of points, um, sticky points on this lure. So weed and if you're gonna get if you get too close to the structure, at the end of the day you are gonna lose them. But, but out out here on the edges, drop one and got another one. Out here on the edges where it's a bit more open, the fish is schooled up. Very cool presentation to get the job done. He's just a little one. Yeah, he's just he's just bitten off more than you can chew, mate. That's what you've done, haven't you? Hmm? Get that out of there. Get out of there. See you, mate. Righto, so that might have been 30 minutes and we got like six or seven bass on the TT switchblades. So super effective um, presentation, 
especially in impoundment fishing when you're not too tight in structure like when the fish is schooled up like you saw awesome presentation for getting a uh a, a wary bass to bite so hope that uh you got a couple of tips and tricks out of that and i'll catch you next time cheers